All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing some 2v2s. I'm going to be talking about my LAN experience, you know, the, the people I got to meet, the, um, you know, kind of what I did the whole LAN. I'm, I'm not going to do a vlog for this type, but I do have some footage from the LAN. So, uh, yeah, it was it was a great experience. We'll be talking about that. We'll also be talking about Vitality and, like, who I think deserved MVP and stuff like that. Uh, and, yeah, and I'm sorry for my voice, by the way. It, it kind of got lost. I'm just talking to too many people, screaming, yelling, all that stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I'll see you on game number one. All right, getting into game number one, we got Ty on our team. So I wanted to talk this video about the Boston Major. Uh, I did just get back from Boston yesterday. Um, I drove back, so we'll just we'll just do the whole timeline, and then when I get to parts where there's like video, um, I didn't I didn't record like a whole vlog, so I probably won't be doing that. But uh, when there's parts in the story where I have like video for it, uh, I will definitely be. In it in, in the editing uh, but anyways so Thursday uh, I drove up it was supposed to only take like five and a half hours if I left at like a good time but I left at a bad time I hit a bunch of traffic and I think I had to stop like three different times to pee so I ended up getting there uh, it took about seven hours and I got there I don't know around 6 p.m. or so um, and I kind of just chilled in my hotel, just sat on my phone, just got checked in, stuff like that. And then at night, I went to uh, the gym with Musty. We had a lift together. We were supposed to hit hit one uh, with Fakey as well, uh, Ghost, the, the coach for Ghost Gaming. Uh, he was supposed to be there as well, but uh, unfortunately, he had a business dinner to attend to. Let's see if I can get a reset here. Get it over him. Yes. Um... But whatever, so I got the lift in with Musty, we did some legs and back. Uh, I didn't get any footage from that, but the next day, uh, on Friday, woke up, kind of just chilled in my hotel for a little bit, and I went to the gym with a guy named Sebdot. Uh, after going to the gym with Sebdot, I went to my uh, friend's Airbnb, and we watched the game together, or the games together. And then after that, we went to Fenway. Uh, so that group... Uh, hereby referred to as the Fortnite Flick group. Uh, it's just like a group of all the guys that I talk to on Discord, so people like Flitz, uh, Chronic, LJ, Andy, Nick, uh, Hockey, Kaz, and Rion. I think that's everybody. Um, but those are all the guys that I was, I was at the Airbnb with. I mean, except for Chronic and LJ, they were both playing, obviously. Um, but we, we watched the games, and then we went to Fenway. Uh, and then after Fenway, we just walked back to the player hotel and just kind of talked for a bit. And then I, I went back to my car. Uh, then the next day uh, was the event. So woke up, had breakfast in the hotel, and just went straight to the event. And before before I talk about the event at all, I, I just want to say like a shout out to uh, shout out to a bunch of people to be honest. And if you guys have seen my Twitter, you've already seen me say this stuff, but. Um, there were two people in particular um, this event that kind of made it like really like a lot more enjoyable for me and that's uh, Katrina and Dale Duo uh, they were two people who just like the entire weekend you know I'm a I'm a very like socially anxious person and the whole time like they were just kind of they were just kind of there you know what I mean they were just like vibing with me they were rocking with me and you know, it really like made my time a lot better. I don't know why he jumped for that. That was a horrible play, but that's all right. Um, I got I got a bad pinch there, so that's kind of both of us. But the only way Sling gets that goal is if he does exactly what he did. Timmy does exactly what he did. Uh, oh no, dude! Uh, why is he diving, man? <laughs> all right, that's tough. That's tough. Um, but yeah, shout out to Katrina and Dale. Uh, they were just kind of like rocking with me the whole time, basically. And uh, made the event a lot more enjoyable. But anyways, Saturday, uh, I was kind of just walking around, you know, doing... Just trying to meet as many people as possible and talk to as many people. As you can probably tell from my voice, um, I was literally just talking to people all weekend long. Whether it was like fans or other creators or, or, or like friends or, or whatever right it was i was just talking to as many people as i possibly could at the event because you know these events don't happen often i don't get to see these people um all that often which kind of sucks man because 
some of the people I met, I'm like, I'm like homies with now, you know, I'm like best friends with these people. Uh, which, you know, kind of makes me sad because I won't see a lot of them uh, until the next North American LAN event, which who knows when that's going to be. Uh, so, you know, there's... Uh, I, I was basically just talking the whole day on Saturday. I went to uh, the Radiant booth, which was like... Uh, Radiant's like a... I don't know how to describe it. They just do a bunch of stuff for like Women's Rocket League. Uh, so they're, they were like spotlighting like women Rocket League creators and players and stuff like that. Uh, so I went there, I went to like the merch booth, SSG and stuff like that, and I was mostly just walking around in between games too to, wow that's such a good shot from Sling. I thought my teammate was going to be able to help me out there, uh, but I don't think he could recover fast enough. Um, but I... You know, I, I was mostly just like walking around and, and just talking to people, trying to like meet as many people as I possibly could. And then after the event, you know, I was I was a little bit sad that Gen G didn't didn't make it through to Sunday or or any North American team for that matter didn't make it through to Sunday. Uh, but you know, we uh, there was a Gen G like mixer party after Saturday, so I went there. Um, just got to hang out with a bunch of people. There's music, and they were they were making like custom initialed hats, uh, which is kind of nut. It, it was cool, but I, I didn't actually get the chance to get one of them for myself. But that was a cool event. Um, and then after that, I just walked to a bar, or it, it was like a karaoke place with Seb, Katrina, and a couple other guys, um, just to get Katrina's sweater back because she had left it there the night before. And then from there, I just walked alone back to my car, went back to the hotel, and then just slept the night. After that, I, let's see, on Sunday, just went straight to the event uh, in the morning. I mean, you know, obviously breakfast, blah, 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 all that. Is that in? Thank God. Um, breakfast, all that. Went straight to the event. And Sunday, I wanted to make sure that people could, like, find me if they, if they were, like, actual fans and stuff. So I tweeted out where I was. Um, I, I tweeted out where I was going to be, like, in between two of the games. I was like, hey, I'll be outside of section blank after this series. Like, make sure to come find me. Uh, and I, I never did, like, an official meet and greet or anything like that. But I feel like I met so many people. And, like, truly, I can't, I can't, like, describe how much it means that, like, every single person who, like, came up to me said that they liked my content or they watched my YouTube videos or my YouTube shorts or my TikToks or... Literally whatever it was, man, it, it all just meant so much to me. Um, it's, it's a very, like, gratifying feeling to know, to, to just, like, meet the people that you are watching your stuff, like, in person. It's very surreal, you know, because a lot of the times it, it can tend to just be, like, for me, it can just be, like, oh, this video got X amount of views, this video got Y amount of views, whatever. But when you see, like, actual people who are, like, hey, man, I'm your fan, I like your videos, and, and they're, like, a real person talking to you. It's, um, it's very, like, cool, you know, it, it, it really helps put things into perspective that I do have, like, people watching my stuff, and it's, it's just nuts, so. Game number two, but yeah, um, just a very, very cool experience, very awesome to meet everybody, um, and if you guys follow my Twitter, you probably saw, like, all the pictures and the updates, but, let's see, Sunday, just got into the games, and honestly, like, on Sunday, I was kind of rooting for BDS and Vitality. Uh, Vitality, just because I think the storyline is cool, and BDS, because I was watching them play the days before, and they looked really, really good. Plus, I think it would have been cool for uh, for BDS to have three land wins. So, Monkey Moon would be like... Oh, dude, I can't see the ball. Hopefully that's in. It's not. Rip. Nice! Um, yeah, Monkey Moon would have had three land wins, and that he would have been the... What, the second player to ever do that? Or, or, no, third player to ever do that, right? Three RLCS land wins, that is. Um, so that would have been cool, but also, like, Vitality getting the perfect split with Zen, the rookie, like, that's another cool storyline. So I, I wasn't opposed to that either. Um, and then I sat with uh, Dale Duo and Katrina, the people I'd mentioned earlier. Uh, Katrina actually had some words of wisdom. Uh... 
if you got it. I'll, I'll put that in right now. Yeah, do you have any words of wisdom for the people? Macaroni noodles. But uh, she had some words of wisdom for the people, which uh, I, I didn't even know what she said until after. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that uh, helps you guys live your life better. Um, and then let's see. After that, I, I was setting up the camera for Stax's intro, which is why we get, we ended up getting that. Uh, getting those words of wisdom. Uh, but I was setting up the camera for Stax's intro, which I'll put in now. Austin, for the last time, our stage is set. From a field of 16 teams, we've narrowed it down to our elite two. Only one team can stand alone and raise that trophy. It's time to crown our last major champion of the season. Uh, but anyways, after Stax's intro, just watched the series. It was the Grand Finals, uh, and Vitality ended up bracket resetting BDS, which is just... Again, that's also crazy. Uh, I feel like BDS weren't playing how they were the previous two days. Um, okay, I bumped him. Just score that. I bumped him again. How do we get scored on there, man? How do we get scored on, bro? That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, BDS weren't, like, playing how they were in, in the previous days, you know? It's... They just... You know, Rocket League's very much a game that's based on whoever's playing better on the day. And even though BDS was playing better than Vitality, like, previous days, uh, they just couldn't bring it together for the last day as well. I'm gonna bump it. So I'm just gonna have that, so I just gotta back up. Um, but yeah, after the Grand Finals, uh, Vitality won. I actually stayed for the, uh, for the MVP medals and the speech and all that stuff because I figured, you know, I'm gonna be stuck in traffic anyways, might as well just, just st stick around. Uh, so that was a cool moment. And then after that, went back to the hotel, kind of just recharged my batteries for a little bit. Dude, I have no car control, apparently. Um, went back to the hotel, recharged my batteries. Uh, and then after that, there was a musty after party at a, like, a gaming bar, kind of. Uh, which was pretty cool. They had, like, arcade games. And they also had PS4s above the bar. So that you could, like, 1v1 people on Rocket League. Uh, which was, you know, of course, in a, in a bar full of Rocket League nerds. That was, that was very, very fun. I got to 1v1 Arsenal, Leth. Uh, lost both of them. But, you know, it was fun, right? Uh, just had a good time. Just vibed out. And then I went back to the hotel after that. And that. That was pretty much my whole time. I know some of my friends were going out to, like, bars and stuff after that, but I wasn't drinking uh, at all the whole trip. I mean, I'm 21 now, but I still just, like, alcohol doesn't really agree with me. So when they were like, hey, want to go out to another bar? I was like, ah, you know what? You guys have fun, but I'm just going to kind of chill here. Um... Uh, but yeah, it was overall a fantastic trip. I had a great time. Uh, of course, you know, my brain just likes to, to be mean to me and, and tell me that, you know, the people around me hated me and didn't want my company and all that stuff. But I could literally see with my own two eyes that that just wasn't true. So, you know, I... For one of the first times in my life, I was able to, like, actually go to, like, a party and a social event and stuff like that and not drink alcohol and still have, like, a good time. And I think that's mostly just due to, like, the people I surround myself, or surrounded myself with from the Rocket League community compared to, you know, who I would be surrounded with at, like, a Penn State party or something like that. So, uh, it was really cool, you know, I, I really found my people. Uh, I need my teammate not to get dusted there, but he does anyway, so whatever. Uh, no big deal, we're probably not going to be able to pull this game out. Um, and yeah, that was that was my whole, like, thoughts on the event. I made a tweet after Vitality won saying that I thought Alpha should have gotten the MVP. Um, and Zen ended up getting it. Uh, which I... 
people took that tweet out of context to to mean like oh he's saying that zen played awfully dude are you blind like zen was amazing it's like no every single player on vitality is amazing they are a well-oiled machine uh and every single one of them has like an integral part but for me i just thought alpha was the standout player i thought he was making opportunities he was making good consistent challenges and good decisions um, so I, I thought, I thought he was the standout player, but, you know, not only that, but Alpha 54 for a long time has been regarded as like one of the best players to never win an RLCS land. And he finally won it, uh, with a rookie nonetheless. So, you know, it, it would have been, uh, I think appropriate for him to get it either, but, uh, you know what? It didn't end up happening. Zen ended up getting it. Uh, so, you know, what, what can you do about it? Right. All right, getting into game number three, we got Daunt on our team playing against Young Cap and Sling. This is a pretty high-level lobby. Um, I, he's not going to be able to get that, so I'm just going to try to get out of Daunt's way just in case. You know, you, you don't want to like accidentally uh, dunk your teammate there. I mean, granted, it's kind of his job to make sure he doesn't hit it into me, but at the same time, I'm, I should be trying to make it as easy as possible for him to not hit it into me. Uh, but yeah, anyways, just in general, like at the major, I. I noticed a couple of things while I was watching the players, and I, I always I always notice this kind of stuff, you know, when I'm watching the Major in person, because when I'm watching RLCS uh, just on my own, I'll kind of just, you know, autopilot, or, or, or like, I'll like, I'll be watching it, but I'll also partially be on my phone and stuff like that, or or whatever, right? But I won't really be like, full, full focused on, on just, you know, hard, just, just watching everything that happens. But at the majors, you know, you're there, the crowd environment's there, you can hear the casting, like, uh, booming and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier for me to just only pay attention to the games. Um, and one of the things I noticed that pro players do much, much better than I do is that they're just efficient. Um, they are extremely, extremely efficient with boost, uh, how they aerial for the ball, and one thing I noticed too was was their fake challenges uh, were a lot different than mine. So when they would fake challenge, or, or not even like fake challenge, but just like the way they would approach the ball. So there were some times where the ball would be like, you know, the opponent would have them beat to the ball. And rather than, you know, just driving up to the ball anyways to fake challenge and, and guaranteeing the ball gets over them, they would get close enough to the point where the opponent still has to hit the ball but not too close that the ball would just go over them with any touch. Um, they would need to, you know, they, they would uh, they would distance themselves from the ball a little bit. So the person who was going in for the ball might think they're taking a 50, but rather they would just hit the ball straight into the player who uh, backed off a little bit. So okay, he missed that. He's probably going to be over. Again, I'll just force that over. So that should be fine. Um, but then they're also just like a lot more efficient than I am as far as like boost management and you know How they go up for their shots how they go up up field, you know by just going on pads rather than flipping forward um, So there's a lot of aspects that I can definitely take into account in my future games um, they're, they're also just a lot more consistent with Everything basically like shooting passing, you know uh, pretty much every like Everything you can think of, they're just more consistent than I am, um, which makes sense. You know, they're the best players in the world, so you kind of have to be. It's a good play from Daunt. Jesus, that is a nice shot. Uh, Daunt was definitely watching watching Zen, and To get the touch around the guy and then also get another flip reset top corner, nuts. nuts. Great play from Daunt. Uh, so yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed the Major. Uh, hopefully everybody else, uh, hopefully everybody that got a picture with me that, you know, like wanted to see me or whatever, got a picture. And then hopefully, uh, if I didn't get a picture, you know, hopefully if any of you guys go to the next event, you'll, uh, you'll flag me down. Cause like, that's one of the things I was talking to, I was talking to Katrina about this. She said that some people said that she was intimidating, right? And she was like hard to approach basically. Um, and as a creator the entire reason that we are there is to like meet fans uh i mean i'm a i'm a huge fan of the esports so i'd probably go regardless but one of the one of the main reasons i go and one of the main reasons it's like a business expense 
is because as creators we're there to meet our fans you know we love it um you wouldn't really be going to these events as a creator if you didn't enjoy meeting the fans and if you didn't you know enjoy interacting with them so you know if you see your favorite creator um just like say hi you know it's not that big of an ask for you to to take a picture with us or whatever right it takes maybe 15 20 seconds out of our day um and plus the conversation that i had with a lot of people was incredible so you know it's it's really not that big of an ask and you know please if you guys see me at a major feel free to grab me even if i'm in a conversation just be like yo coconut i don't want to bother you can i just get a real quick picture and i'm sure if you do that with any creator they wouldn't mind at all um but yeah that's that's pretty much gonna be it for this video uh hopefully you all enjoyed and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe i'll see you all in the next one sorry about my voice by the way uh i talked about that a little bit but sorry about that uh if you guys enjoyed holy voice crack i'll see you on the next video i'll cut it there cut it there